In this video, we will discuss the thrill fry timer operation in monostable mode. This is a circuit diagram. Pin number 2, we are applying the trigger. We are using only one resistor and one capacitor. Pin number 5, we are connecting to the a capacitor when you can keep it open also we want to maintain that voltage as it is let us consider this internal diagram as well as external r1 and c1 component together so that you can discuss thrill fight timer in one shot or you can say monostable mode see the output is zero low now the flip-flop output is high the transistor is on, hence the voltage across the capacitor will be zero. When transistor is on, emitter and collector are short circuited, hence the capacitor voltage will be equal to zero. Now let us apply the trigger to the pin number two. When I apply the trigger to the pin number two, the comparator B will give the high and flip flop output becomes low timer output becomes high and transistor is off capacitor C1 starts charging through the R1 towards VCC when it reaches a greater than two third VCC then the comparator A will give the high therefore the flip flop output will be high Hence, the timer output will be low. It is like a NOT gate. The flip-flop output is high. Hence, the timer output is low. Now, the transistor conducts. Therefore, the capacitor discharges suddenly. Reason, there is no resistance in between the capacitor and the transistor. Hence, I can say discharging time will be equal to zero. And it will remain in the zero only unless we apply a one more trigger pulse. Now you can say whether the stable state is zero or one easily. Now let me repeat the operation once again. Output is low, flip flop output is high, transfer is on, capacitor voltage is zero. I apply trigger, therefore. The output of the B op amp is high, flip flop output is low, timer output is opposite high, transistor is off. When transistor is off, the capacitor starts charging. When it becomes greater than two third VCC, comparator A gives you the high, flip flop output becomes high, timer output becomes low, transistor conducts, hence the capacitor discharges suddenly. Without any delay. Reason is we don't have any resistor. Now, if you have additional trigger pulse before the TP, before it reaches to the two third VCC capacitor voltage, that will not have any impact on the operation of the triple fight hammer in monostable mode. There is another point you have to remember. And the time period. The TP we said is 1.1 RC that can be easily seen from this slide. Voltage across the capacitor usually given by V into 1 minus E raised to minus T by RC and V is maximum charging voltage to the two third VCC. We have two third VCC equal to VCC into bracket 1 minus E raised to minus T by RC. Simply I am substituting uh, values and I am Simplifying, I'll get a 1.1 RC. You can pause and you can go through this. It comes around 1.0986, but in most of the textbook, they round and they say T equal to 1.1 RC. This is a monostable operation done in a micro cap simulator. So, how you can see the waveform, the trigger is applied and output waveform, as well as the capacitor voltages you can also in this. A trigger is very important because it should come from the positive towards the zero. If you have a simple function generator in your laboratory, 
remember you are supposed to add dc voltage and the duty cycle also you are supposed to change so this is very important to remember and once we properly see the trigger pulse in the CRO then you can apply it to the pin number 2 there are many applications in the municipal mode pulse width modulation frequency divider line linear ramp generator also we have a missing pulse indicator this is a pulse width modulator application and uh, these are the waveforms how the pulse width changes simply we are giving a pin number 5 with the modulating signal it's about a duty cycle this is nothing but a t on by t on plus t off into 100 so that a percentage you can tell and even you can get a less than 50 percent duty cycle in a stable mode for that you can use a diode which was explained in the second video and to get a less than 50 or more than 50 percent duty cycle you can choose a r1 and r2 value properly And stable, monostable, their applications. Stable is good for clock timing signal, and monostable is a clean pulse of correct height and duration for the digital system. I want to switch on a particular LED or bulb something for a particular duration. I can go for a monostable mode. Thank you.